Well, Jamon, before, uh, before we talk about you individually, the game you had, uh, obviously, a, a, another tough one. You had to lead early on in this team and uh, weren't able to get it done today. Oh, yeah, so we kind of hurt on. We had a couple of just mental lacks at the defense, and we let them get a couple of big plays, and it hurt us early in the game. Overall, did you see improvement from what we've seen the last couple of weeks? Oh, yes, sir. I, I did see it, but let alone, you know what I'm saying, the problems that we caused for ourselves. I seen a lot of improvement from the quarterback, from receivers, Marcus Rucker, and other guys like that. And plus, I seen the defense. We, we stoned them a couple of times on some good three and outs. I feel that we are moving forward by this game. Just hate losing. How discouraging is this? You didn't expect this this year, did you? Oh, uh, no, sir. I, I didn't expect to look like this, but it's not, it's not that discouraging, you know. My mama, I got a strong background, so I just got it in my heart that, you know, you never give up. You always fight. Never get discouraged, never feel down. Yeah, sometimes when you have losing streaks, there can be dissension among the players and disharmony, but you, you guys seem to be still together, focused, and, and, and willing to move forward as the season progresses. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I was telling some of my players on the um, sideline, I love you. You know, right or wrong, win, lose, draw. So we're going to stay together just naturally. You know, we just got that love for each other. But at the same token, we got to find the little problems and we got to get those things fixed. Are you guys looking forward to the week off, maybe to heal some nicks and dings and then come back in two weeks? Oh, yes, sir. I feel this week off is going to be great for the team. I feel it's going to give us a chance to carve out some of the bad and let our bodies heal up. And I feel we'll come back a better Tiger team. What, what would you like to see done in the next week or so where you've got this extra week to, to prepare? What are some things that you guys need to do? I just I love to see that some of the younger guys, you know, just learning their roles a little bit better and getting in a better position to make plays. And I just rather, I love to see some of the older guys like myself just take it up a notch on the leadership role, just take it up a notch so that we can help bring everybody together. Monty, I know it's tough to talk about individual performances, especially when you lose. But talk about this this day. We know you've been putting it together all year long. 21 tackles. That means you ran on an awful lot of defensive plays. Can you talk about what you did today? Oh, well, 21 tackles. It's just like when she told me I had 21, I didn't even know it. Like, I don't even look at stats, you know. I just, I'd rather have five tackles in a win than 21 tackles in a loss any day. But talk about being there and, you know, being around that ball and sniffing it out. You had a big sack as well and just... And doing the things you've been doing all year long. Oh, just um, middle linebacker. That's part of my pedigree. My pedigree, just loving to hit, just loving to hit someone every chance I get. Thanks, Jamal. Yes, sir.